This is part three of the Mopar voltage uh, meter install from an ammeter. Okay. Clean them up. They're roughly round. Doesn't look too terribly bad. Uh, <laughs> a few little marks on the back just where it came out and spun a little bit. So be careful about that. I don't know. You might want to tape it up or something, but... Uh, I might just sand that a little bit, just take rid of those marks. But overall, not too bad. So, having said that, this is going to be where it is in place. There's room on the bottom, which is good, nothing to, and you can see in the back, those holes work now. So that's positive. So I will make something for the back here that I can essentially cover up those holes and mount these two. I don't know whether I'll epoxy it or screw it down. We'll have to figure that out. But in terms of it being in place, that is where it's gonna go. And, uh, man, it's hard to see, but it will fit there. And, and man, that orange is just, if that was a little bit longer, I would almost leave that original uh, needle, but I think I'm gonna, take off my other needle and I'm going to try and get it to match the others. So that's what I'll do next. Here is my old amp meter with the needle. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to clip that sucker off. And there we go, I got the needle. Now when you cut something, you're gonna flatten it out. Cause this is, I know it's darn hard to see with a small little camera, but yeah, you can't see that. It is, it's got a dish to it. Uh, so what I'm gonna try and do, or need to do, it's very soft aluminum. Just re-dishing it with my fingernail. Got to get my old man glasses on here. I think I'm manipulating it. Oh yeah. Pretty good even just, I can fold it with my fingers. Look, so it's not flat anymore. It's got a little bit of a dish to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little piece of tape to keep that at that spot right here. Right, right at the front of the markings. And the reason I'm going to do that is when I tape it, I want to get, I want to get the length about equal with the old gauges. They're all about the same. So it looks like I'm going to have to Looks like it's going to be mo about half and half. So I'm, I'm going to glue half of this onto, onto this piece here and uh, line it up. 
Not sure which glue I'll use yet. But I'll figure it out. I got a couple different varieties here, so try that next. All right, a couple things here that I'm deciding on is, number one, I'm gonna protect this face plate while I'm doing some rounding. So I just got some painting tape. That's why if any glue falls on that face, I won't have to worry about wrecking it or trying to get it off after. Oh, let's see here. I can still see through it as well. How am I gonna do this? Making a little ball here. You can kind of see it's roughly pushing the needle up a little bit. I was trying to do that more on the bottom. And that's pretty much where I want it to be for my gluing. Now, because I'm going to be pushing down on it a little bit, I don't want to bend it. So I got this uh, duct tape is a little bit thicker. So I, I put a little bit of duct tape behind it because when I push against it, I just want some thickness. I don't want to bend the needle. Yeah, this is going to be the tough part here. I think what I'm going to decide to do I got another video started that I'm showing how to touch up paint. And that that'll be might be posted after this one, but I explain these little paint touch up paint uh, paint brushes. I guess they're meant for paint chips and that. You get them from an auto body store. Um, I'm thinking they're going to work good for for this. So what I want to do is I want to get a little bit of paint. Or, sorry, not paint. I want to get a little bit of... I'm going to use contact cement. The reason I'm doing that is contact cement is... Well, <laughs> come on. Contact cement is literally just that. When it... If you've ever used contact cement before... I mean, it's definitely a liquid. But you don't use it until it dries up a little bit. It's tough to see here, but I'm just spreading this. That, just a little coating on there. About halfway up that needle. And I'm going to put a little bit... on the face of this needle. The contact is actually taking the paint off of that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait a couple minutes here. I'll shut the video off and then when it dries a bit, I will try and put that on there. That's gonna be a bugger. 
for my big fat hands. So we'll try that next. Okay, it's been a few minutes. I am <laughs> okay, how am I going to do this? Uh. Damn. All right. Temp two. Temp two. This is, you know what? Oh, that worked. Stick me, baby. I got it on there. Got it looks like it's square. It's on. It's completely covering up the old needle. And it's about the right height too. Okay, I am. I'm going to let that dry, and we'll come back to it. It's the end of part three. Stay tuned for part four.